it says here it's in Norwegian uh, a logging company has uh, moved in and they are chopping down the trees so yeah and it's it's a danger sign you shouldn't be here so it's essentially uh, I shouldn't be here but it, it's Saturday today so no they are not here today but um, I don't like this um, let's uh, let's move on down the path there and, and see see what they've done a, f a few months ago I uh, I moved away from that area where I made most of my videos because they were chopping down so many trees they were destroying the woodland and only patches are still there and it was depressing to me to to, to go up there so so I moved to this area And as you can see, um, I guess I'll have to find another place again. There are some trees standing, still, still standing over there. Now, 20 meters uh, in each direction uh, over there. Something like that, that's, that's all. And of course you have the surrounding woodland. But this, you know, I talked about this in a video actually, I said this is old wood, old woodland, old forest. And this is how it looks like, I said, when you leave it for decades. Now it's gone. It's all gone. Will there ever be enough? Will there ever be a, a stop to the destruction of, uh, of the wilderness? It makes me truly, truly sad. Now this is only uh, a small, you know, just a small piece of woodland. But, uh, it, it was kind of magical to me when I found it not many months ago actually I I felt a very strong connection to the to the to nature here and now you know I, I want to say that <clears throat> the spirits of the forest has been chased away because I can't feel that connection anymore and as you can see, just a few yards behind me, there are no more trees. And this is the same spot here that I've used in many videos, right here.
I usually tidy up the you know camera bags and stuff, but today I I don't care. I don't care. I was going to talk about something completely different as well, but I I, I will still do that. But um, okay, let's. Um, Let's get the fire going here and uh, yeah, <sighs> I don't know what to say. You know, they're going to build 90, I read 90 wind turbines just off the coast here, just off the coast here where I've been sailing every year from my, my parents took me in their boat sailing when I was a baby actually. So I've actually been sailing along the coast here for nearly 50 years. And now they're going to destroy that as well. Because it will be destroyed and these, these wind turbines, in case you didn't know, they are not green. <laughs> they will shed toxins into the air, into the sea and also they make a, a, a disturbing sound, they kill birds, lots and lots of birds. Whoever came up with that term green, it's in Norway they say the grønne skifte, they say it's the, the green change. It's like <laughs> it's like some evil villains got together in a room and they figured out this is what we will do and just to rub it in we will call it green we will say this is green it's 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 ironic as well isn't it because whenever i've been here i've only taken i've actually i've taken these dead branches and not too many i've, I've not taken too many and I brought firewood actually to this area so that I, I, I because I didn't want to leave anything except footprints here because of the beauty because of what it used to be here and now it's gone but I will find another place but it's I have to move further and further away. Okay. Okay. Now the water is boiling. <laughs> yeah. It will probably be my last time sitting by the little creek here. But anyway, um, I was actually going to make a video about something completely different. Um, an addition to my bug out bag and to my go bag and to the bag I have in my car. And I will tell you why... <coughs> I'll tell you what happened. And uh, I'll tell you, I learned a lesson. I had an accident a few days ago, and I, uh, yeah, it was a silly accident. I fell asleep on the couch on the sofa back home, and one of the dogs was sleeping on a 90 degrees angle to my head. Like, if I was lying like this, she was lying like this with the paw stretched out, and when I fell, fall asleep in the evening on the couch, they just leave me there because I, I, I can't be... It's like I'm... They've given up, so they just leave me there. Um, and it was dark in the room, but suddenly I got, you know, this sharp pain in my eye. And apparently that was uh, uh, her paw, um, uh, or the, rather the claw. I don't know what she did, maybe she turned over or something and I got the claw in my eye and I, it, it flashed actually, I, I, I saw a sharp light um, 
but it was totally dark in the room. But anyway, uh, so I was taken to the doctor and I, they found a scratch across my eye, uh, but it was minor. So they told me that I had been lucky. The day after this happened, I, I couldn't walk. Well, I could walk, but even the slightest breeze was so harm, it really hurt in my eye. And I had no perception of depth, right? I, I couldn't judge the distance to, to anything. So it's much, much better now. And they say that it will be completely healed, you know, in a SHTF situation. Uh, if you hurt your eyes, you could be in a lot of trouble. You could be in a lot of trouble. I have um, an addition to my my bags, my bug out bag or go bag, car bag. And it's, um, I guess, you, tactical goggles. Any goggles would be okay, you know, like this. And um, I think it's, um, I learned to listen and I think these should go in your go bag. Oh, some walkers are coming here, dog walkers. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so if you hear someone behind me, that's just a, someone walking their dog. <clears throat> um, and also, I am adding um, earplugs, because it's also wise to protect your hearing. And also, um, have you ever had, um, had to stop your car in a tunnel? Can you imagine if that tunnel is like many kilometers long under a fjord? Uh, that's the situation in Norway. We have lots and lots and lots of tunnels. So I'm also adding um, a mask <laughs> or uh, what's it called? A respirator. Um, I guess it could come in handy in many situations. Of course, if you live in an area where you could have forest fires and so on, but for me, I'm adding this to my car bag, essentially because, um, first of all, I think it's scary to... <laughs> as someone who was buried by an avalanche, I think it's scary to drive through those very long tunnels under the fjords and so on, and my... and, you know... Um, so for me, this is... Um, Yeah, it's um, it, it looks like this, you know, any any good brand. This is the brand that I'm using, Mira, and but any good brand who can provide you with with this kind of equipment will will do the trick. Um, I won't take it out of the bag here because uh, um, it, it it actually starts to deteriorate uh, when you take it out here um, with. Um, it has filters, hold on, or, or is it called canisters? Well, you screw them on and uh, of course a mask like this should be used when you're uh, doing work like uh, you're sanding, uh, painting, uh, working with anything that could potentially harm your, your lungs. Um, and again, um, especially in an SHTF situation, it will be extremely important to, to, to make sure that you don't injure yourself. Talking about masks now, it's, uh, it's probably, you don't want to hear about masks, I understand that, but this is not, of course, that kind of mask. Uh, th these three items I'm adding to my, my, um, my bags and my SHTF uh, equipment. So, but first of all, uh, I think that's the most important uh, piece of kit that I'm adding, uh, is, is the goggles. And also I want to do a shout out to an artist. Um, she's been sending me uh, some of her artwork and uh, it's abstract, but uh, there's something about them. I, I really like them. And, um, and she wrote to me now that, um, well, first of all, she hasn't asked me. She doesn't know that I'm doing this shout, shout out. She hasn't asked me to do that, but I really wanted to do that because 
uh, she wrote to me that she now faces um, uh, this, uh, these mandates and that she will have to uh, quit her job or be, uh, be, she will be fired. Um, but um, yeah, it doesn't really, you know, just some samples here. Uh, it's very colorful and I don't see colors well, so I really enjoy these and I see shapes and figures in here, so yeah, I really like them. Um, and she sent me this postcard as well. I hope you can see that. You'll find the links in the video description and it says here that uh, she, she will do uh, paintings and uh, postcards, I believe. Uh, greeting cards and designs. And uh, yeah, I, I really like them. So if, uh, if you want to know more about that, uh, and help an artist, uh, please go and check out those links. So, yeah, it's been quite a week. I almost uh, had my eye, eye poked out and, and now this. <laughs> well, what can I say? Next time I will be in a different location. And here comes the wind. The gods, they don't like this. They don't like what's happening, you know. Okay, that's all for now. There will be a video on the screen here now that you can check out. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.